<laughs> I like listening to it when there's girls around. You know what I mean? Fuck that. I don't hate on 50 Cent. I don't hate on Lil Wayne. That's the shit I want to hear when there's girls there. I don't make it. You know what I'm saying? I think the anger comes from like, look, man, you're sort of a product of your environment. That's life. That's, that's one of the oldest philosophies on earth. You know what I mean? It's like my father died at 10 years old. We was broke. We was on welfare. You know what I mean? Uh, Justice's father wasn't around from an early age. We both were poor. It's a reason we became friends. You come, you have the same story. You know what I'm saying? And then as you get older, read more, learn more politically. You know, I'm, I was born in, I was actually born in Europe. I was born in Agrigento in Sicily. So it's like I was raised, you know, Christian or Catholic, whatever you want to call it. It's like then you start seeing the holes in that. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, like me and Just both embraced Islam, and it's like. So it's sort of like your environment and, it, you know, being in Philadelphia or even on a world level, it's like we come from a city where they, like, set up Mumia Abu Jamal and, like, police brutality and we didn't have any money and my mother didn't know what she was going to get any money after she never had a job because she took care of her kids. So when my father died, we, I, I, you know what I'm saying? So, like, all of these things find their way to manifest themselves into your music, you know what I'm saying? So it's like... Is it my problem with the government or my problem of the perception of Islam or my, my problem with the perception of poor people in general, whether you're white, black, Spanish, German, or whatever, like just the oppression of poor people, you know what I mean, by, by powerful governments and all of that type of shit like always sort of drove us, you know what I mean? Even if it's not a topic of a song, I'm still driven by that anger. You know what I'm saying? If you're fighting with your girlfriend and then you go play basketball, you're going to be angry as shit while you're playing basketball. You know what I mean? So it's like the same shit with me. It's like, even if I'm not doing a song that is particularly angry, even if I'm writing a song about my mother, you can still hear, like, the, the pain. Or, or You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a sad person. I'm, I'm a pained person. That's just how I am. I don't want to be that way. You know what I mean? I don't wish to be that way. I wish that I was happy. I envy happy people. But I'm not a happy person. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, for me to do shit that's happy, would be, again, it would be fake. You know what I mean? I could do that shit. You know what I mean? I could pick a happy beat with a you know, hot soul loop and say some happy summertime shit. All my homeboys would be like, summertime? You don't even leave the crib. You sit in the air conditioner and sleep till 10 at night. You know what I mean? So it's like, it would just be fake. So whoever we are on record is who we are as people. Yeah, making... Making happier music, yeah, yeah. Hey, making that, that shit like it would be fake. It doesn't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we come from uh, just environments where it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's not. I mean, yo, even even our personal struggles. You know what I mean? I, I would say internally, that's that's what causes it the most. You know, it's like our internal struggles that like private shit that issues that we got that you know what I mean really no one else has to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Like. So it's like, yeah, just not our environment, you know what I mean? Because, like, I'm a tough dude in my neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's not just because of, like, you know what I mean? Like, I want to be. It's like, that's just who you are, you know what I'm saying? Another thing I wanted to say is, like, a big misconception about people. And my father taught me this before he died. He dropped a lot of gems on me. He would always say, don't ever worry about the guy that acts tough. He's a bitch. He's pussy. People always meet me and Justin, they're like, you're so polite, you're so nice, you're a nice guy. I'm like, why would we be mean? Our mothers raised us to treat people with respect, but I will punch someone in their fucking nose. I will do it tonight if someone disrespected me or Just or anyone with me. My father was like, yo, don't worry about the tough guy. Worry about the nice guy at the end of the bar who buys you drinks. That's the crazy motherfucker. I buy everyone drinks at the bar, at the hotel. Tipping everyone, man, being polite, thank you, please, yes, no. Because that's how I was raised. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Be respectful to other people. But when you draw a fucking line in the sand, then you make an animal come out. You know what I'm saying? That's why that tough guy shit, it never phases me or just. I'm like, the harder you act, the more of a bitch you are. You know what I'm saying? And that's, I've never been proved wrong. The motherfucker that don't talk, chip on his shoulder, think he a hard rock, he always the most bitch. That's the first one I'm punching in the face when something pop up. And he gonna get melted. Yeah, absolutely. I mean
mean, see, the thing about Philly is, is like, where we're from, there's so many Muslims in Philly, Islam is, a, is very prevalent in Philadelphia, you know what I mean? So it's like, I can't really speak, I'm sure it's like, it's like horrible in some places, you know what I mean? Because it's like, basically, the ironic thing about the, the discrimination against Islam, particularly like after 9-11, is that, is that Islam wasn't even responsible for it. The U.S. was responsible for it. Bush was responsible for it. Cheney, you know what I'm saying? They were all responsible for those buildings going down. That was just, you know, that was just the devil's way of like turning people against each other. They don't want a unified, you know, they don't want revolution. You know what I'm saying? My father always used to say that type of shit. He used to say, it, the people shouldn't be scared of the government. The government should be scared of the people. You know what I mean? But you, you can't rally the troops to have that happen. You know what I mean? Because people aren't smart enough. They want to fucking watch Two and a Half Men and, you know what I'm saying? Watch fucking bad movies and listen to Britney Spears. And it's like, you can't talk, tell that person, yo, you know that our government is responsible for this. They'll be like, no. Nah, what are you talking? That's crazy talk. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you f you feel it on, on some level, but that's sort of globalized. Like, smart people know the fucking deal, man. That's the thing at the end of the day. You know what I mean? When it comes down to discriminating over religion, race, creed, color, whatever, intelligent people don't even deal with shit. I mean, we were both really sad because Sha, you know, set off, you know, one of our favorite songs on Violent by Design. You know, good brother, righteous brother. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you know, diabetes is, you know, affecting a lot of brothers, you know, particularly in the black community. I know a lot of people are having problems with it right now. You know what I mean? It's a sad thing. I hope he's in a better place. You know what I'm saying? He was... Uh, you know, he had dropped a, a record fairly recently that was really good, and I know for a fact that he has a record that's not out yet. This is completely produced by Large Professor. So, you know, I hope his legacy and family, you know, hopefully that'll live on because, you know, he was talented and he was a good guy. Well, here's what happened. We came on stage while they were at the end of their set and the whole fucking crowd turned to us and wasn't watching him no more. So they got mad. That's the fucking fact. You can watch the video. That's not my mind making that up. There's a video out there. Whoever's watching it, you can find it. Go on YouTube. 70,000 people turned to us when they heard our intro come on. 50 Cent, he's, he's on a, another level. You know what I mean? But it's like, not, not musically. That's why the band shifted to where they did. You know what I'm saying? But all... We do what we do, he does what he does, you know what I mean? It's not like a, we wasn't, I mean, if he shouted us out, that's what's up, you know what I mean? But like, like, yo, like, no one's mad about that, you know what I mean? Like, he's mad.